Yes, now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Subway Surfers. I cannot remember what episode this is, so I'm not even going to try and tell you what episode this is. We're just going to we're just going to get on with it, claim all our rewards, and keep going. Uh, welcome, I'll have, I'll have, I'll have, I'll have, I'll have, I'll have. Great, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. What are you? Get results. Come on, what we do? Woo! Okay. Off. Yes. Loving this. Whip your loving on me, baby. Whip your loving on me. Oh, that's free. I love. Lovely. Me. All about me. Again, sorry, I forgot what I was looking for to buy in. That maybe was it that? It's gotta be that, surely. And it, as far as keys go, I think I think we've got all of his. I think we wanted I think we want Frank's last outfit, don't we? Yeah, I think I want Frank's last outfit. Which is only twenty five keys. Yeah, cool. Frank's last outfit. Um, missions. Achievements. Collect. Eight keys. That's beautiful. Five more keys and we can get Frank's outfit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Three. Go on. We're getting loaded today. All right, let's go. What are the missions? We got 15 jet, alright, we need one more jet pack. I'm also gonna use a head start. Because why not? First game back. Let's do a head start. Yeah, I'll have. Thank you. I wonder if there's a way that we like at the end of those things we can just slide along and do, you know, like go from get get both the boost and the magnet. You know, that would be pretty cool. Anyway, we usually talk about topics, so I've got Could have sworn I swiped left. Anyways, like I said, we usually talk about topics. So I think today I've got a topic. It happened just last night. I haven't watched all of it because I haven't uploaded all of it. But Misfits X Series 13. Let's talk about it. So when they announced it, they announced it as uh, Fox the G in a 2v1 matchup against Most Evil, which is a team consistent of Evil Hero and Most Wanted. Um, I wasn't sure how to feel about it because, like, I didn't, like, I wasn't, like, I'm not a massive hater, like, I'm not against it, like, I, I like the tag team, I like the idea of the survival tag, even though it didn't work that well, um, but, you know, I thought, mm, it's a bit weird, I get why they were doing it, because he just came off of a massive, not, like, the best knockout we've seen in Misfits ever, I'm saying that now, right, against a person who was the favourite, he was the underdog, I thought Small Spot and Jay would be him, but no, 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 he knocked him out, I was like, Christ, okay then. Um, so then putting them against two people made sense. I mean, Evil Hero, very easy. I mean, makes sense. I mean, both the, you know, Dean, Dean the Great and Adam Salah have both handled Evil Hero with ease. Most wanted as well. I mean, he showed heart, but again, he was fighting Joy Knight, so he got knocked out. But, you know, oh, no, he got TKO'd. But, uh, you know, there's no judging how good uh, Most Wanted actually is because of... Uh, because he because of who he was fighting, he was fighting Joey Knight, um, and they announced a bunch of other fights on the card, including one that didn't happen that we were waiting for: Anthony Taylor versus Gabriel Silva. You know, Anthony Taylor being the champion, and it was said that the winner of Gabriel Silva versus OJ Rose would fight Anthony Taylor. That was obviously Gabriel Silva, and we thought we were getting it on this card, but then Gabriel Silva pulled out for whatever reason. Um, God only knows why. I think he wanted more money, but he's got to remember where he's from. Just because he's Anson Silver's son does not make him entitled to nothing. Uh, so that, that was a shame that didn't happen. But then basically like a week or two weeks out of the fight, they announced just a fully a, a change card. Basically the card was um, main event, the 2v1, Fox the J versus Most Evil. Um, then in the corner, co-main event, they announced Chris Avila 
who's you know in the Nick Diaz training camp. He's MMA but guy, but he's done well in boxing. He's been on Jake Paul cards. He's beat Anthony Taylor. He's beat Paul Bamba on Misfits. You know, he's pretty decent. He's pretty decent against a guy called Jake Boschwick, who looks very scary. He was a BKFC guy. I think he's fought uh, Mike Perry before. Um, pretty. Uh, I haven't seen him, but you know, I thought yeah, he might be the favorite in that one. Um, laid back. The reactor was meant to be fighting some guy called DWG Earth or something like that, right? And I thought, oh, laid back. That's cool. Until he pulled out. We don't know. We've not been given a reason. God only knows why. But he got replaced by Taylor Holder. Not much to complain there by. But I did want to see laid back there. But whatever. It is what it is. Um, and then the other two matches on the main card were part of the lightweight tournament. First, we had Yuri Gang versus Little Cray Cray, and then Joy Knight versus Baby Hulk. Then we had the kickoffs, which was Alexia Grace, who lost to Ashton Wett, who, in my opinion, didn't lose. I think she did better than Ashton in that fight. Oh, Christ. I don't know what happened there. And I think that, that win was Alexia Grace's, to be honest with you. Um, but then she was fighting some girl called Nikki Haru, or Nikki Ru, I don't know, but it's H R U. Um, who who seemed a bit like nice and energetic at the start, but became annoying. But then, before everything else, you know, before literally a week out from the fight, they announced a fan favorite fight: Vitali, uh, the popular streamer versus Modine, the popular troll. Um, you know that's everyone's favorite fight. Everyone wants to see that fight. Let's talk about it, right? So Vitali versus. Maudine. I mean, the big build-up, but in the build-up, Vitaly basically bullied Maudine. It was lots of just, you know, the way stream has all these days, the way popular influence has all these days, it's quite embarrassing, you know, like, they just say random shit. It's stupid. It's it's honestly embarrassing. But the, in the whole build-up, Vitaly just kind of bullied Maudine. And then in the fight, it was kind of the same thing. No man was prepared whatsoever. Both men were gassing in the first round anyway. Right, but you could, but I think Vitali just had the advantage because he, he had a bit of muscle and he had a bit of confidence just to, to at least throw a punch. How bad the punches were though is is on another level. I mean, Mordine just didn't throw whatsoever, and Vitali just kind of threw wrist punches like he was a toddler, um, and he landed one of them clean. He landed one clean when Mordine had his back turned, and Mordine just gave up. But apparently Modi was on Ramadan, so I can imagine going in there and trying to box was not a good idea anyway. But it was for the paycheck. Come on. It always is with those streamers. Like, you know, it is what it is. But then also on the kickoffs, right, which I was surprised it was on the kickoffs, was Nikki Huru versus Alexia Grace. And then what else I was surprised by when they got in the ring, it was a five-round fight. I'm like, okay, that's decent. Five two-minute rounds because it's... A women's bout, and that often happens in women's boxing. But the fight went something like this. Pretty much every round, it was Alexia Grace constantly coming forward with pressure. She was landing more volume on Nikki Haru. Nikki Haru was being trying to be more smart about it. She was hitting better shots, and she hit her hard, and she hurt her. You know, she was she was calculating her overhands and her hooks, and she was hitting like three punch combos. But she'd hit Alexia, and Alexia would just come forward and eat it. Alexia had volume, Nikki had skill and power. It was very close fight, like literally it could have went anyway. Could have went anyway. Nikki Haru got the win. Uh, you know, honestly, like Nikki could have got the win, Alexia could have got the win, it could have been a draw, to be honest. It was that close. But I just feel bad for Alexia having two close fights, which she did very well in, and to be honest, in my opinion, Alexia won Alexia beat Astrid and in my opinion, she could have beat Nikki there. Um, depends because if they scored, like when when they scored a knockdown on Nikki as a push, when you watch the replay, it's hard to tell because obviously, like, it didn't look very hard. So you can imagine she pushed, like the way she fell on the floor, it looked like she was pushed. But then the way she got punched and then fell, you you, you kind of like, mm, was it knockdown? Was it not? So I think if it was scored a knockdown, definitely, definitely Alexia Grace's win. But if it was a push. Then I guess either way, but in my opinion, I kind of I, I, I feel bad for Alexia. I feel bad for Alexia. She'll probably appeal this fight and they'll probably you know deny it again. But I don't know what I, I don't know what I was planning there. But poor Alexia, good fight though, decent fight. But I, it's it's good to see that she's not like just soft. Like she'll if she, if she gets punched in the face, she'll come forward again. That's that's actually good. That's decent. You know what I mean? It's what we we'll want to see. Um. 
So yeah, that was a bit of a... Hmm. But then I went on to the main card, and it's in America once, so it's in the middle of the night, and I wanted to go to bed. I was really tired. But also, I, I don't pay the zone subscription anymore, because the zone tried to con us with £20 a month for a subscription. Get the fuck out of here, right? Um, and on the main card, it obviously kicked off. I think it started... Um, it was going to start with Yuri Gang TV versus Lil Cray Cray, and apparently I looked at it, I had to look at, look it up and everything, because no one said anything about it. Um... They were about two rounds in the fight, and it got called off. Why? Because some people decided to swap the event. This is what's wrong with fans today that just think they're so fucking funny. Like, you go on streams or anything, people get swatted, and it's just wasting police time, it's wasting everyone's time. It's just like, it's literally a crime as well, I swear. But, yeah, no, so, where Yodi Gang and Lil Cray Cray didn't get a fight because someone wanted to... Uh, swat them and call the bomb squad and declare, oh, there's a bomb in the building. Like, shut up. Shut up. So we were robbed of that fight, and to be honest, I want to, because I want to watch these fights back, and we're not going to be able to see that, because it was a no contest. And I want to see Yuri Gang bang, because Yuri Gang, he's like the Mayweather of the boxing scene, the YouTube boxing scene. He's pretty decent. But anyway, nonetheless, Joey Knight uh, was fighting in the lightweight tournament against Baby Hulk. Um, knocked him out. Pretty decent knockout. Pretty decent. It was it was actually very decent, you know. This is this is the Joy Knight era. I believe Joy Knight could go on and win the tournament. So I'd like to see that happen. And then there was the Taylor Holder DWG fight. Taylor Holder TK Odom. Bryce Hall was obviously waiting at ringside. They had a bit of a war of words, you know. It is what it is. Get that fight happening. I'm sure that'll be a main event, you know. Coming event, I haven't seen it, obviously, because I haven't uploaded the fight, but Chris Avila, Jake Boschwick, it was a split decision win by Chris Avila. You know, Chris Avila, the more experienced boxer, but he's he's, he's not very powerful puncher. I can actually just slap box his way to the win. You know, it is what it is, but I was kind of rooting for Jake Boschwick because Jake actually had a decent... Coming from bare knuckle, right? Coming from a bare knuckle background, a guy full of tattoos, a guy that could take himself very, very seriously. He came into Misfits and he treated it with the most respect he could. He, he got involved and he wasn't a prick about anything. Chris Avila came in with a lazy attitude, like, mm, don't be here, yeah, 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 sure, I get my money by. Every time he got answered a question, he just answered it as quick as he could because he wanted to leave. Like, he has no good attitude towards it whatsoever. So, uh, it was kind of sad that Jake didn't get the win over that one, but it is what it is. It is what it is. I'll be interested to watch back the fight. But then the main event... Which is meant to be Foxy G versus two on one and most wanted an evil hero. Apparently, for some reason, oh shit! Apparently, for some reason, most wanted pulled out the fight and it just ended up being evil hero versus Foxy G, which is just unfair on evil hero in my opinion. Um, and evil hero got sat down, especially when most wanted was talking the biggest shit the whole build up and he's pulled out. God only knows why. God only knows why. It could be like injured last minute, but I highly doubt it. Um, yeah, no, most wanted, like, he walks around talking like a chav, like, he's not that, he is not a chav, right, he, he's, he's saying, like, idiot and fam, and I'm like, hey, shut up, you, he, lo he looks like a three-year-old child, like, he's got the face of a child, he's got the build of a child, um, and he acts like a child, and apparently he can't fight like one either, so, you know, that's unfortunate to say, I mean, I did think the two-on-one was a Silly idea, anyway. Tag team fight makes sense. It's even survivor tag, maybe, maybe, maybe you're a push two on one. Nah, come on now. Like, influencer boxing is entertaining and out there as it is, you know what I mean? We don't need this other stuff. I'm a big fan of misfits, but these other concepts they're gonna get taken too far. Our world today can't, can't do anything like you can't trust people these days because this generation, man, they take shit too far, they ruin everything, they have no sense of control to be honest and everything's just gonna get taken out of hand because the modern day it just glorifies it it glorifies chaos and it's not it's not good it may be fun it can be good but it needs to be used properly and it's not being used properly by this generation and misfits is gonna gonna become a cause of that if they don't settle down but yeah it was a shame to see that the, the event didn't go as planned but it was it anyone's you know what was it was it misfits fault no Bunch of fighters, I think they're more worth it than they are. Bunch of stupid kids who, like, want to fucking swap streams and that. Just, just not helpful, is it? Just not helpful. But whatever. My message to Misfits would be, do more frequent events. Do an event every month. 
like you were when when they first started. You know what I mean? Because you know when they first started, they were doing it every two months or something like that. But you know, we'll just see more events. Just see more events because the the way in between events is, is killing misfits. Like it's killing the popularity. We need we need more events. I know it's probably hard, but you know, that's my rant over. Um, we're we've we've got somewhere we've got we've got closer, but not quite there. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Non stop, on job, say less. It's tweeting and talking, but I mind that you're walking, say less. Sometimes giving them out, but sometimes I gotta say less. It's too much talking around, so I just say less. Yeah, non stop.